All right, you guys, today we check out how to make text with plastic material on it here in Adobe Firefly and Illustrator. All right, so let's start in Illustrator and make sure to have a text made out of stroke lines like this. And now we're gonna go here. I'm gonna swap it. Make sure that you don't have anything on the stroke. Click on the stroke, click on the non, click on the fill. So it's gonna be on the top. I'm gonna select the circle, press and hold shift and create a small circle. I'm gonna make the circle width the same as the stroke line width. And from here, we're gonna go to the gradient, activate the gradient, and I'm gonna go and change up the white color to something darker. Let's try it out with magenta. Now I'm gonna press and hold Alt, drag it to the right, also press Shift to isolate, select both, go to the object, blend, click on Make. And now I'm gonna create a couple of copies of this, press and hold Alt and create more copies. And I'm gonna select the first one, press and hold Shift and select one of the strokes from the text. And let's go to the object, blend, and click on replace spine. And I gotta do the same thing with the rest as well. And I gotta select all the lines with the dots. Let's go and double click on the blend here. Select specified steps. And I gotta increase the number somewhere on 500, for example, click on OK. And it's going to smoothen out. And this way you can see the lines overlapping and it creates a really good contrast in between strokes. Now we're gonna export this as a JPEG. Let's go to Adobe Firefly. We're gonna change up the aspect ratio to square, content type photo, scroll down. I'm gonna to go to light, change it up to studio light, also select hyper realistic. And we're gonna type into the prompt, pink plastic sphere with hard polished surface, floating, isolated on black background. Let's go and click on try prompt. I think the second one actually looks pretty decent or the third one, but I'm gonna go with the second one. It's also a little bit more dirty, but I'm gonna try it out. So let's go to edit and let's select use as style reference. Now let's go back, scroll up to the aspect ratio and we're gonna change it to widescreen. Let's go to the reference image, upload image. Now let's select the image with the text that we created. Click on open, continue, increase the strength to 100%. Let's go to the style reference, increase the strength to 100% and I'm going to go and increase the visual intensity somewhere here. And not but least, let's go to the prompts and customize it a little bit more. Text made of pink plastic sphere instead of sphere, I'm going to type in material. And from here, let's go and click on generate fingers crossed and check this out. It brought some beautiful pink plastic typos. And pretty much this is our generate plastic text here in Adobe Firefly and Illustrator. Thanks for watching.